This is the Kali Monkey. Welcome back to playing Thimbleweed Park in Game Diggers. So, Agent Ray was, uh, well, I'm not sure if she was killed or not or smacked, but at least she was grabbed by. Uh, it's a pretty big vacuum tube. I might break the tube. Okay. So she was actually whacked on the head by the, the same thing or person or whatever that killed the uh, German guy in the beginning. Um, that's exactly the thing we're researching. So the question is now, should we just walk there? It's a dime, just lying there. That's good. I also wonder what really the reason is that you're playing with two different characters. It would be interesting to know if they see different things lying on the ground, for instance. Oh, look at Ray's notebook. That looks like Agent Ray's notebook. I hope she's okay. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. So I'm afraid to look at this trash can again. I'm gonna try it. Pretty disgusting. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. It's an empty box. I can't open that. I don't want to pick that up. It's just a stack of empty boxes. I can't open that. It's the back door to the diner. What? It's locked. Thimblecon. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Okay, we have to check that out. So, she is missing now. So we're playing as one. I wonder, she had stuff in her inventory, obviously, so... What can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. <laughs> weird. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying Areno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. <laughs> How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. And now the question again is, what if we would have played with the other character and would have eaten something? Would have I'd like different? to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, Schweinsacks? I'll have the Schweinsacks. Sorry, honey. Foreign businessmen got the last one a few nights ago. Been uh. a big rush on exotic foods these past few weeks. I'd like to order some food. I guess we can only sure. get a hot everything's dog. on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, So if honey. we get a hot dog, We're trying to move them out. and we go out in the alley Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Are we gonna get whacked? Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> I feel better now. Okay, he's just walking. I'm gonna do it again. Pretty disgusting. No, it doesn't happen this time. So, this game, the whole setting of a town, remote, weird things happening there. It reminds me a bit of the series called Haven. There were two FBI agents that came to a city as well. There was something wrong specifically with that agent there. Um, but the idea I think is sort of a bit similar. Uh, it might be total coincidence, but uh, beyond the fact that they look like Skullder and Molly, that's definitely something that they remind me of. Another speck of dust. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Blow out puppy sale. Rick's cake. Ah. 
Wow, those are a lot of... Holy... Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Wow. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping for a slice of cherry pie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I the do for you, The proprietor? I'm looking for a tube. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Uh, not anymore. I'm all tubed out, thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Uh... WC, WC. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Look I'm for looking tube. for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? I, I don't know. I forgot. I didn't look properly. Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back what? before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Anything else we can do here? Hey can there. A bit more? Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. We're already standing there. Uh, do you know anything about the body this? by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my Chuck hero. Edmund. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I two think it's just the boost technology. the town needs. Wow. What do you think about the state of the town then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no uh -huh. time at all the town will be completely rejuvenated. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Tube Town. Town. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. Glad I could help. Well... Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose! I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. Just promise to be careful who you trust. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, I don't and trust they're her. like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure. But I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Holler if you need me. Another speck of dust. So... Phone book. Wow. A lot of names. These are all the backers, I believe. Everyone could leave their voicemail. I think I'm in here as well. Um, there he is. I don't. I didn't leave a voicemail. I didn't have time in the end. Otherwise, there I would be. Anyway, moving on. It's out of order. The coin slot is. Find Ray. She probably ditched me. Pigeons need it. Go talk to Ransom the clown. The Bunny Salon. It's pretty broken down. To the be doors honest. are locked and nobody's inside. Okay. Well, that sucks. 
Fierce out now. Bus station. Who's that? Lady of the evening. No one is in there. That's another way of saying that she's a prostitute, right? Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund, Edmund family, and I'm waiting for Wife. my husband and son to arrive on the bus. What? Well, wait. But her husband died, right? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned yeah. our family and the business to become a... <laughs> Flooring inspector? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. Oh, no. It all started a few years back. Horrible. Oh. She only wanted one thing to be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make Mucus stupid phlegm. adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. So we're playing her now. Mucus Flim. Obviously, uh, spin on Lucasfilm, the game that they originally used to work at. Uh, so what do we have to do? Dolores, Pascal, <laughs> did meet some Pascal back in the day. Find the ideal job, check mailbox, escape from Timberweed Park. That's that's a pretty simple list of things. It's an LFG 1982 tube and it's in here pretty tight. I'd need an L This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's a red gel decoder. Sounds awesome. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on now. I'm bored playing games. I want a job at me. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a bla- It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who yeah. they are. If it weren't for my mom, this is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. I'm kind of a fan, I guess. These are part of my action figure collection. Mr. Einstein. Fun stuff. So this is the mansion where she lives with her uncle, I guess. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I thought some someone was... This is a bit of a maze, I guess. Mm -hmm. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me! I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again! 
And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. Father. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We <laughs> make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. Yeah. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. It's a whip made out of network cables. <laughs> the label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Eh. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom built multi band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a defunct robot prototype. Thanks. Oh, Dolores, oh, Dolores, Do oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as Sorry. you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. <laughs> Terminate. Exterminate. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Okay, we have to check the new register. Okay, painting, what's up? Hmm, Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Yeah, I get the hint. It's turned really? on. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. He really wants me to take it over. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just random doors. There it comes here again. Wow. What is this? this I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Yeah, I got the hint. I get the hint. I'm exploring. Let me explore. Fine. I'll check the mailbox. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle game Chuck company. happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. So, we have our game magazine. What's up with the Miltron? Nothing in there. It's an LFG-1982 tube, in perfect- It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an- It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. <laughs> Mucus Flamgain. Wow, that's great. 
Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mukless Flam Games, the makers of hit games, three lines of haze and behind jaggy lines. Wow, this looks like a cockpit of an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter. It's looking for qualified applicants. Just complete a mail in this comprehensive programming test and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development. The perks, long hours, non-diet soda pizza, work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out of date arcade machines. Apply today, what's your parent company's profit grow? Well, wow, apply today. An ad. Wow, an ad. So check it, find the ideal job, dial in with a modem and fill out Mookus Film job application, mail film that job application. Get a job. What's he digging? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Okay, he's randomly digging holes. Bit it's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. Digging. It's very dry firewood. Okay, I'm sure we can Diggin? set that on fire at Diggin. one point. Better not. That might start a fire. It's very dry firewood. Digging in the front green. Yes, no. Got a lock. This clock looks vaguely familiar. It Maybe does. more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Monkey Island, sorry. Manic Mansion. I don't want again. to open it. Um let's try what's here. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. So get the glass. Oh. There's nothing inside. I heard the doorbell. Hello? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancel... I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope... There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing in there's nothing inside. I guess there's nothing inside. It's turned off. What's the deal with all the, fa the all the faucets and opening? Wow. Poopsie. <laughs> they look pretty old. I think I see mold What's... growing on one. What's the thing with Can you really pick up everything in this game? What a mess. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Flam adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary <laughs> desk just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Very nicely done. So this is the joke I told you about, or the difference between Sierra and it's Lucasfilm LucasArts. Finally done. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Could we, like, put the letter in the microwave? I guess we can. I, I don't know. Well, should we, like, make it wet first? Maybe with with a glass of water in there. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Am I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Okay. The glass is now filled with water. Awesome. 
I guess we uh, use... And we put the letter in there. Close that baby up. And use it. Well, it should sort of start condensing and then open up, I hope. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. Perfect. It's a couple of uncancelled stamps. Still sticky. So we can use that to send our letter. Hey Chucky baby, what the beep is holding the toy license contract? Your brother Franklin said that this was a done deal, so I thought I'd write it to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge and making ransom dolls would be like printing beeping money. Beep off. Okay. Wonder if our goals changed. Apparently not. So the so. fireplace looks very clean. Uh, use firewood here. Uh, use gas can. This log should burn really well now. You just need something to ignite it, I guess, which we don't have yet. So let's go upstairs. What's here? Wow, what's this? This is Index. Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Legit. Wow. This is another backer filled part of the game. Everyone was asked to give names and titles of, of, of books, essentially. So that's why this is entirely filled. So this is a There's staircase a that looks... There. Better read it first. It says, out of order. Well... I know this is getting boring, guys, but this is another in-joke towards Maniac Mansion. And to be, to be fair, I really like these in-jokes, but I've played the original. This is great. This is, this is very, very, very fun. There was a staircase there as well that had a similar sign. Same for Chuck the Plant that you see here. This is Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Definitely check out Maniac Mansion as well, or even Day of the Tentacle, which is the basically sequel to the original Maniac Mansion. Although it's very different, it does uh, give you quite some enjoyment. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye is a bit extreme. Oh, <laughs> me again. Anyway. Okay, I, I could call myself. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna do that. Because I didn't leave a voicemail. Terrible do argument. Do I regret that now? Not really. I just couldn't think of anything really funny to say. I guess we could use this. Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. I don't know, so let's go up. Let's go up. I really like how they sped up the whole uh, moving around. Um, let's go to our room. It's my state-of-the-art comic. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. Yeah. It's connecting. Wow. I can't These believe sounds. my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to, to you in exactly land. five days. What is your name? Dolores. 
I don't know what her if she is. Uh, Thank you. This. What is your address? I have no clue. Something like this. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Oh, that's Pascal. Interesting choice. Please answer <laughs> the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. What are wow. room backgrounds compressed into? <laughs> I don't know. Let's get them all good. Okay. It'd be to better find to find some reference first. book on mucus before I answer these. I need okay. to go find a book about mucus programming. Okay. We did dial in. Uh, so we need to find a book on mucus. These are my Anne of Green Gable. These are my Kirk's Box slash fiction books. I'm a believer. This section includes the complete history of mucus phlegm, the pointed history of point and click graphic adventure. I don't need these. Pretty much memorized them all. These are my Chronicle of Narnia and Hitchhiker's Trilogy. These are my Chronicle of Narnia and these are my. This section includes the complete history of mucus phlegm, the pointed history of point and click. I don't need these. Pretty much memorized them all. Okay, so what can you answer the questions then? Hmm? Hmm? Exactly. So, how are we going I to... I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. You're a rebel, Billy. Albert's my hero. This is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. I'm kind of... These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. I love basic, but she had Pascal at the front, so she has multiple languages. Can we just sort of use this with this? I don't think this will help me get the job. Okay, sorry. Sorry. So, Mucus Flem, is there anything we can do here? No. My personal information has been entered. It has. So, can we find a... Hmm. It says there's a book on Mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Awesome. 3.1 Why not plush so. toys? Three point one, huh? So this is until two point eight. Chuck is such a bully. Yeah, he is. So we have to go up. The sign says it's out of order. Well, that sucks. We'll come back here later. Figure that one out. So I guess, actually, we could light the fire by using this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I actually set it on fire with my breath! No idea what the point was, but we did it. So I'm, I'm sure it's worth something. We miss anything here? No. I don't think so. I think we're good here. Still on? No. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with ash. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. Okay, so we fixed our ink problems. Uh, let's go here again. It says, out of order. No 
one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, <laughs> so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Wow. That's an interesting way of looking at this puzzle. So it's in 3.1, she mentioned, so let's go there. What's this? That's my great grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great Edmund industrialist. Edmund. Uh. That's my Scottish great 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 grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Most of the books in the library were written by our backers and supporters. They assume all responsible for the content. Top and reference is probably the basic extension you have without constrained knowledge. Yeah. Anyway, we're looking for the one on Lucas, exactly. The following book is proprietary and confidential, and I was it. So, Mucus Flem, Mama Mucus. This is an in joke to uh, Scum, which is uh, the system that was originally created for Maniac Mansion. Script creation utility for Maniac Mansion is what it stood for. And it was actually the system that was used to create a lot of the other adventure games within LucasArts as well, Lucasfilm, LucasArts. And Ron Gilbert was one of the original creators of that. Um, and he created a lot of other games using that and extended upon that. So I guess we have all the information we need to have to move forward here. So let's go and fill out that form. See if there's anything fun here. So let's go to our room. I really like that you can walk way faster. I'm sure I already said that, but the difference is so massive actually, if you think about it. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual cool, 1541 floppy falling. drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, what are room backgrounds compressed into? They're compressed into character sets. Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Uh, I think it's eight. Yes. Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? What are they compact into? MFL files. Next question. How many parameters can functions take? Uh, that's again eight. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Woo! Yay! I answered all the Mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Uh. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. There's just soot in the ink bottle, not ink. Oh shit. So can we do this with water? This isn't a water-based ink. Not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. So print it out again. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. There we go. I always like to watch this part. Wow. Legit. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. And we have a stamp. So that's good stuff. Uh, use this. My that. letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. Woo! 
So we have everything, we need to get the job and escape. So let's see if we can post this baby. And become a video game developer. Our dream will come true. Creating adventure games and nothing more than that. Watching the company take the fame. So use the letter in the Miltron. How exciting. I hope I get the job. It took our job. Five days later, around 5 p.m. <laughs> Cobwebs. Hiya, Boris. I have a letter for you. Oh. Shoveling is a bit annoying in the background. Good luck. See ya. Digging. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I, I hear you're digging. It's it's really annoying. Digging. Digging. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Thank you. Jeez. I think I want to open this in my room. Just in case it's really bad news. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go to your room then. And let's open it up. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so there scared goes. to open it. Yeah. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. So, play a game? I'm done with the computer for now. Oh. Wanna use this? No. Wanna use this? I don't think this will help me get the job. So just open it. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Yeah, I know, but just open it. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Yeah, it's, it sucks. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! Woo! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... <laughs> to the moonwalk. I think this is what Ron Gilbert did back in the day when he got the offer from Lucasfilm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so, final part. Tell Uncle Chuck the good news. I don't think he's very going to be very happy. Not as happy as you think he will be. What's up with the Ricky pie, actually? Ricky Lee's yeah? famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. This must be where pies... Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. <laughs> You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Wow. Dolores That's broke cruel, Uncle Chuck's man. heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the murder next logical simulation. step for her, sweetie. Stop wow. her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Wow. So that was the story of I'm Dolores. Some concern for Agent Ray. That... Yeah, I know. So that was the story of Dolores that went on to try and become an adventure game creator. Well, a, 
a video game developer obviously focused on adventure games at Mucus Flem. So this was all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow on our next episode playing Thimbleweed Park. This was the Kali Monkey. Bye bye.